Thank you. As we've said, um, the National Employment Authority uh, has a great task to play at such a time when unemployment is the biggest challenge that we're dealing with uh, in Kenya. Um, from, you know, connecting these young people to the job market, from building their skills, from making sure we have the right content taught in our universities by matching the skills and uh, the, 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 the curriculum being taught and what is needed in the market, um, from providing, you know, a, a platform through which they can be linked to internships in private and public sector. There's a lot that, that, that really this um, uh, institution is supposed to be doing. Um, and we've really been looking forward and trying to you know, push for it to be operationalized and for it to, to work. Um, the kind of leader then that it needs is somebody who understands that vision. And uh, because of, the, of, of, of really the need that is there in the country, we made sure that within the act we specified that uh, you know, the qualifications for the leadership from the chair um, to the board members, to the CEO or the uh, director general. Um, the chair is supposed to have a minimum of seven years uh, uh, experience in human resource management because they're supposed to be the vision carrier. You need somebody who can be able to inspire academia um, because you're talking about the universities and the, you know, the TVETs, uh, somebody who, else, who, who can also now connect to the private sector, connect to the international markets where a lot of these jobs are to be found and create that synergy between the three. And uh, which is why um, we're saying that that is the kind of person you need. And we want this, you know, the, the, the CS and government to take this institution very seriously um, for the sake of young people. Um, Honorable uh, Meru Mboy is a friend. We work together. Um, I think she has a lot to offer Kenyans, um, but in different capacity. Um, for this particular one, we know many, many Kenyans. And we have no one in, you know, in mind, no, no, no specific person, but there's so many Kenyans. Um, I was at the ILO meeting just the other day, the Kenyans who are at the ILO, International Labour Organization, in the ministry, um, who are HR professionals, who fit the bill, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, described in the law, and who can actually give, you know, this uh, institution um, the kind of vision and impetus it needs, because it's been lagging behind. We, 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 must, we must put our money in our mouth when it comes to issues of youth unemployment. The biggest threat to our young people today is millions of them who are disillusioned, disengaged, and not employed, and that is where our focus must be. And so, because of that, we are urging uh, Mr. Wamboy to just, uh, you know, politely decline uh, that that appointment. And because she also cares about our young people, and she wants to see an institution that will be able to provide for them, whether they in whichever part of the country, to actually, you know, let it be taken up by somebody who, first of all, qualifies based on the description in the law, and also who can be able to 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 move it forward. Um, uh, However, even as that is going on, we have instructed our lawyers to actually go to quash this because it's just an infringement of those provisions of the law. We will also deal with it in the House, in the Senate, I chair the Committee of Labour and the Young Parliamentarians Association, as well as the National Assembly. We will have to deal with that. Another thing we have to deal with is the fact that the law says clearly that the Director General should be um, not have should not have attained the age of 35, the Director General of this uh, institution. Yet uh, there has not been a substantive filling of that position, and we hear they want to bring amendments again through the same ministry. They want to bring amendments to remove uh, that provision so that the Director General does not have to be a youth. We, we cannot allow this. I think we've had enough young people in this country are tired. Um, we cannot continue paying lip service to the youth of this country. I think young people have shown that they're qualified, that they can actually hold positions of leadership. Um, the same uh, Mushimua Mary, when I was 26, I was a chairman of the party. Uh, the entire party when we were with her. You know, we've seen young people, even in ministries, we've seen young people in the private sector doing so, you know, so well and such a good job. So it cannot be that young people are only important during campaigns. And then when it comes to all these positions, then we say that they don't, they don't qualify or they have, you know, they, they don't have the right character, they don't have experience. I think that, that uh, should, should not be accepted or tolerated for one more day by the young people of this country.